any heavy industry needs motored vehicles to operate properly. Large trucks, for instance, provide crucial help in construction, agriculture, logging, mining and other fields. Motored vehicles are used to transport large cargoes, people as well as heavy equipment across the world, even in off-road conditions. Today in Made in Ukraine we will take you through the production of one of the largest trucks in post-Soviet countries, the Graz. In order to build a heavy truck weighing several tons, a lot of metal is needed. Metal delivery is the first step in the production of this massive vehicle. The plant has to produce capacity to handle the majority of the manufacturing of a Graz. The different stages include the making of modules, their assembly and even the making of special tools, all on site of course. Each department is responsible for the building of one specific part of the vehicle, which they assemble as well. The plant builds and assembles the whole truck, except for the engine, which is built elsewhere. The most important part of assembling a car is its frame on which the engine transmission and the driver's cabin are mounted. One might call the frame workshop a plant within another plant. In the preparation section, the metal is cut with special guillotine blades. Next, it goes to stamping, where it is used to build various parts. The plasma cutter cuts the metal into parts of any shape and complexity. After that, if production requires it, the parts are bent by a powerful machine capable of bending thick metal sheets. The C-frame rail is cut to size, then welded, cleaned and sent to drilling. The plant uses hot rolling in order to strengthen the frame's material. At the drilling station, up to 180 holes are drilled through the frame. The automatized drilling line is capable of processing up to 20 frames in one shift. The frame is assembled on an assembly stand. The workers lay out the frame, tighten the bolts and then send the frame to be welded. All the parts are welded and brackets as well as beams are screwed onto the frame. The quality control room must thoroughly check the frame before sending it to be painted. Before it is painted, the frame is washed, dried and primed. After these procedures, workers dip the frame into massive paint baths. Once they are ready, the frames are sent to the heart of the plant, the main assembly line. The main assembly line is 260 meters long and features 26 technological sections. There, thousands of different parts are put together to form a truck. At the zero section, pneumatic pipes, electric harnesses and other electric and pneumatic components of the truck are mounted onto the frame. After that, the frame is put on the main conveyor track. While the frame is moving on the track, the required components are gradually mounted onto it in a predefined order. At the beginning, the frame is laying on the track upside down for ease of assembly. It might be hard to imagine, but there are 33 base models of Kraz trucks. Made for different purposes and over 150 modifications are possible. That's where assembly charts help immensely. Different assemblies are installed on the frame one by one. Shock absorbers, double reduction axles and drive shafts. At some point the frame is flipped wheels down. Next, the engine, cooling system, driver's cabin, steering and other truck components are installed onto the frame. The last assembly stage is the so-called hookup. The electric and pneumatic systems are connected to the engine, fueling system pipes and the wheels are installed as well. After the electric system is set up, 
the headlights on the truck are lit for the first time. After all systems have been checked, the newly built truck is put down on its wheels and leaves the assembly workshop on its own. Next, the truck is being broken in. It takes seven hours from the time the frame is put onto the conveyor track to the time it becomes a ready truck. 11 to 13 trucks are simultaneously worked on at the assembly line and all of them are finished in one shift. Finally, the truck arrives to final assembly and checkout, where it is checked for defects, receives additional painting, and is equipped with mirrors, additional lights, and so on. The trucks are tested on a special testing and demonstration site, where the machines have to prove their ability to complete various tasks and functions. The obstacles are set in such a way that all potential defects the truck might have are revealed during the test. The testing site almost perfectly recreates the conditions that the truck will go through, such as tree entanglement, rocky surfaces, or a lot of sand. There's also a railway crossing combined with concrete structures that imitate bumps and mountain hills with different degrees of steepness. And after everything has been checked, the truck is ready to go on the market.